David Yannis, and you are watching Ignite Your Day. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of our broadcast. We have uh, been putting these shows together in the midst of this crazy, crazy epidemic this United States and the nation of uh, all the nations of the world are going through, and we are excited that we can be here for you and be a part of your daily life. I know that a lot of people are, are trying to figure out what's going on, what's happening, but I'm here to tell you that God gives us hope, hope that we are able to push through this, hope that there is a better thing in front of us, hope that there are amazing, wondrous, wonderful things that God is going to do. I trust that you know that God is able, that God is able to bring forth the things that you need, able to bring forth the items that you need every day, able to say, hey, he's with you. He's with you. He's with you. So anyway, I'm here putting these shows together here in our auxiliary studio. We're just throwing this together in our in our beautiful studio here. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it's, it's something that will change your life. And um, we're going to talk to you a little bit about some submission trips, talk to you about healing, talk to you about everything. Anytime you listen to our broadcasts, anytime you watch our shows, you're going to find one thing that I always talk about faith. I talk about faith, I talk about miracles, I talk about signs and wonders. Why? Because that is what stirs your faith. My job, as my book says right here, is the igniter of faith. That's been my nickname for quite some time. In fact, let me tell you how I got that nickname. I was uh, traveling through uh, Louisiana preaching at a friend's uh, conference and stuff, and, and when he, he asked me to preach, I was running late uh, we had a lot of traffic on the freeway getting there from Houston to, to Louisiana. It's usually, from where I lived, it was just a, an hour, hour and a half you're there. We had to go a little bit deeper inside. And I got to the hotel, parked somewhere, didn't even have a, a room to change. I just got there. And then uh, I went in there and I, I, um, I looked for the, um, the, the place. And, and finally, I just went to the reception because I couldn't find the hall that we're supposed to be in. And I went in there and... I asked the, uh, the, the check-in desk or reservations desk where the conference room was because I was the guest speaker and I need to get there. And she's like, well, I'm, they're right around the corner and you're speaking tonight. She asked a little bit about what I was going to talk about. I go, well, I talk about faith. I talk about miracles. Um, I talk about healing. I talk about things like that. And, and I trust God's going to, someone will grasp something. Someone will grasp something when you talk about faith. In fact, let me, let me read you a scripture. I think it's in Hebrews. Hebrews 4, if you want to turn your Bibles to Hebrew 4, verse 2, I think. Hebrews 4, by verse 2. When you, when you read this, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. This, this is what God has us to do. For unto us, this is Hebrews 4, 2. For unto us the same gospel was preached as well as unto them. But the word was not, but the word that preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So let me read that again, Hebrews 4, 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Now a lot of times on my show, on my um, sermons, in fact, in my healing services, you're going to find that I always say, mix this with faith. Mix this with faith. Why do I say that? Why do I always tell them, mix it with faith? That is because I can speak 
all the, about all the stories. I can tell you about all the testimonies. I can go over there and tell you about this miracle and that miracle. I can give you the word of God, take you and walk you in the scriptures. I can take you through all these places. But unless you mix it with faith, it does you nothing. Unless you mix it with faith, it profiteth you nothing. If you read that scripture right there, it says unless, but the word preached did not profit them, being mixed with faith. You have to be able to mix what I speak to you today, however I encourage you, you have to mix it with faith. If you don't mix it with faith, if you don't put your faith behind the words that I'm teaching, if you don't put your heart and mind and soul to believe it, that it's going to happen. It's going to be hard for you to receive a miracle. It's going to be difficult for you to receive something if you keep speaking against your blessing. If you keep talking things down, oh, it's not going to happen for me. Oh, it's not going to be there for me. I'm not going to make it. It's, I'm, I'm going to get sick. I'm going to have this problem. I'm, I'm worried about this. Anything you speak about, anything you talk about, faith can only operate when you have hope in God. Hope in miracles. Hope that God can do something. you got to have faith that God can do the things that God says he can do. So when I was at this, this, this desk, this reception area, um, I was talking to her, and this, the lady looked at me. I go, I need to get in there because I'm going to preach the word, and I'm going to believe for miracles to happen. And when I get in there, the, the atmosphere changes and people's faith starts igniting. And that's what I said. And she said this, and I'll never forget this. This is basically how I got the name Igniter of Faith. Um, she said, well, that means you are the igniter of faith. And she told me where to go in the room, and I went. And, and I tell you what, when I got there, I was excited because I, I had a new name <laughs> that I was going to be, be monitoring and, and be putting out there. And in fact, I wrote the book, Igniter of Faith. It has some of those stories in Louisiana in it. And I went back and forth um, to different places preaching and going in overseas. They, got to, they began to know me as the Igniter of Faith. Um, and it just kept going on and going on. But that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to take these next half hour with you and ignite your faith, whether it's through my teaching that I'm teaching here, whether it's through the, the segments of teaching that we're going to have today, or our new, our new segment called Igniter of Faith Session. If, unless, if it's one of those, if it's part of that, Igniter of Faith Session is at the end of, end of this half hour, and I'm going to take you through some miracles, and, or I'm going to have an interview with someone that's going to talk about things that we talked about today on today's show. So I am putting together these shows because I want to ignite your faith, whether it's me right here or my sermons that, that come in as well. I, I share my sermons as well during this half hours that we have during the week. So sometimes I'll be teaching on this set. I'll be on a different set. I'll be probably on my old set um, with some of the, some of the um, stuff from our old previous location that we were at a long time ago. And then I also have sermons from back then. I was a bit heavier. I've lost a little bit of weight, praise God. And you're going to see a, a sermon in a couple of weeks that, that I'm just, you're like, wow. That this week you're going to probably see this sermon that you're going to say, hey man, he put a lot of weight on. No, 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 I dropped that weight. Praise God. But I believe this. I believe that God is going to move. God is going to change things. God's going to make things happen for you and in your life. There's not going to be a problem. You're going to be able to see the things, how God does it. You're going to be able to understand how God moves. When you put your faith and you mix it with the Word of God, you mix it with the testimonies. Remember the Word of God says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. So if you mix that together, you're going to get something that's going to change your life. Don't be afraid of times right now. Don't be afraid of how you're going to make the bills. Don't be afraid of where, when things are going to start in, this, in the country that you live in, if you, whether it's the states or around the world. Trust in God. Trust in God. Trust that God will move you and move on your behalf. Trust that He is able to be with you. Right now the time for you to be lifting your hands and praising God. Right now is the time for you to be excited about what God is doing and how God is doing it. We'll be right back in just a minute. Hi, this is David Yannis and I want to thank you so much for listening to our broadcast. Today I want to offer you some very special collections of books that are mine personally that I want to give to you. I'm going to offer you Ignite Your Faith, the book that has been all over the world and has touched people all over the world. It's about healings, miracles, signs and wonders. I'm also going to offer you the CD 
Ignite Your Faith, which is not an audio book, but three healing services. These healing services have been anointed, blessed, and recorded them in Sid Ross Studios, and many people have been blessed with testimonies of deliverance and healing. And I'm also going to offer you The Recruit and Almost Out of Grace, my other two books. These are my first two books. Uh, the Recruit's about me when I was in the military and about divine revelation of miracles and healing while I was in there, intervention by God, and Almost Out of Grace is a book about relationships and both men and women have been so blessed with it that has touched their lives. We're going to offer this offer. It's called Ignite, offer number 148 for $50 or more. For $50 or more, we're going to send you all four products. You're going to be blessed with them. You're going to be encouraged with them. And most of all, you're going to help move this ministry forward. God bless you. Remember, you can go to our special website. You can go to give us a call or you can write us. Give us a call, go to our special website, or write us. Include, if you write or call, mention 148 or write down 148 Ignite so we know which packs to send you. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening to our broadcast. Hi, this is David Gannis. I want to invite you to one of our healing services. Please visit our website, find out more details. But we have services all over the United States and literally all over the world. We have gone through South Africa, Kenya, India, Mexico, Peru. We are all over the United States, from Los Angeles to Florida, all the way up to Nashville to Wisconsin, all the way down to Texas. We have several services in Texas. Louisiana, we've been there, and we're going back. Nashville, we've been there, and we're going back. Hawaii, we're going back. I want you to go to our website. Find some place that you can get to so we can pray for you. If you can't make it, just believe. Send me a prayer request. I will try my best to answer you. I do text back. I do email back. I do make phone calls back. I do write back. So if you write me personally, call me. I will try my best to get back to you. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching our broadcast. Remember, go to our website to find out more details about our healing services. God bless you. Welcome back to the show. This is your host, David Yannis, and we have been talking about hope. We've been talking about faith. We've been talking about miracles. And the reason why is because we're trying to get you excited about what God is doing. Don't look at the things around you, but trust God that he's able to deliver and move in many, many, many ways. A lot of people ask me, well, how can you be out there preaching the gospel and speaking about faith, speaking about miracles, speaking about healings all the time? Um, what, what makes you so special? Or what makes you be, or make you an expert in that category or what makes you someone that that knows so much about this how can we really believe these things happen i think what was what was i preaching i was um i don't remember what i was preaching was it in i think it was in oh my goodness well i forget what city i was preaching um they came up to my one of my friends and actually twice i've been had people come up to one of my friends that are in service with me helping me minister and they say did have you seen something happen i think it was actually los angeles yes both cases was in Los Angeles. I was preaching at my friend Don um, Don's church in a, in a Abundant Hope Christian Center mm -hmm. out there in Downey, California. Give you a shout out, let you know I love you. And they let me use their church to hold healing services. Um, we we're in fact we're supposed to be back in June of this year, but it, it's not happening right now because of this crazy thing that we're all going through. But um, when I when I went there to go preach, there was a a, a minister that came from. Well, anywhere you drive in California, it's going to be a couple of hours for sure. <laughs> but it was about two, three hours away. They came down to visit the, the service. Um, the, the wife needed a healing. Um, he needed a healing in his back. She needed a healing in her body. I don't, I don't recall what she was sick of, but I know that she was, she was in, in need. And I was upstairs sleeping, taking a nap because we, had a, we just had a morning service. We're about to have the afternoon service. This is our, actually my first time using my friend's building. And I'm crashed out upstairs, and they, they said, well, can you call David downstairs so we could talk to him? So they went upstairs and, and uh, woke me up and to talk to this individual. So I went and sat down and talked to the person. But before they went up there uh, to tell me, some, to talk to me, to, to bring me downstairs, they talked to my, my two um, friends that I, I, I took with me. It was amazing that at this time, it was, we're going to L.A. This is my second time taking a team with me, and I was able to get the tickets very cheap. <laughs> they had some sale going on that I bought, bought all three tickets round trip back and forth to 100 bucks to Los Angeles and from Houston, and I said, hey, guess what, guys? We're all going. And that was the second time that that happened that I was able to take the team for the, that low of price. And uh, we went out there. Like, I, I work it out by faith. I walk it out by faith. We went out there when we were out there at the... Um, at the church, these two young men of faith, and both healing ministers now, um, they, they went out there with me just for a small, short season they were with me. And they went and they, 
they told the guy, yeah, we, we see miracles happen. I've been healed. We've seen people healed. But God works in miracles. But it's not David. It's God. It's not me. It's God. Well, they went over there and they sat down and, and they had, they were waiting for me. And I went down to talk to them downstairs. And, and we talked about miracles. We talked about healing. We talked about uh, just what, what God does. And they go, do you really see this happen? Now, get this. This man was a pastor, and his wife's pastor's wife, and they're asking me if I really see miracles, if I really see things happen, that God's hand moves and people's lives are touched. Do I really see that? I got to tell you this. I do. I got to tell you this. It happens. It happens all the time. Now, I'm not saying I'm an expert. Only Jesus is the expert. What I am saying is this. If you know about God, God does many things. You will know that God is a healer. God is able to deliver. God is able to make the things happen that need to happen in your life. Now, as I, um, as I um, talked to people, and I tell them this, listen, I talk about faith. Not only talk about it, I live faith. I live it. I live miracles. I live healing. I eat, digest, and believe the Word of God. I know that He is able to move. I know that He's able to move. I know that He's able to change things. I know that He's able to make miracles abound. I know that no matter what, I see Him change people's lives. I've seen Him move in miraculous ways. Now, I say this because you have to know that God will do miracles. When you have hope, hope, it's amazing. Hope is powerful. It makes you pick your head up. It makes you say, I know there will be better days. It makes you say, God, I know that you're my God. I know that you're my healer. I know that you are able to do the wondrous, wondrous things for me. Now, I tell you, when people ask me about that, how do you know this? How, do you, how, how come you talk about this so much? Why? Because I know I was put on this earth to do one thing, to walk in miracles, signs, and wonders, bringing people to salvation by faith, bringing people to the, the gifts of the Spirit that they need, bringing people to signs and wonders that God is God. You have to breathe it. You have to digest it. You have to be a part of it, no matter what. No matter what, you have to believe that God can do great things. You can't just sit there and watch the television screen, the, the, the phone that you have, or the, the device that you're watching us, whether it's on television or online. You can't just sit there and wonder, can God do these things? You got to be a little bit like your brother here, David. And I'm not saying I'm all perfect. Oh, by far, and <laughs> talk to my wife, and <laughs> not. But I'm saying that I know that I know that He is a wondrous God, that He can do the many things that the Word of God says that He can do. He is God and only true living God. You have to digest it. You have to impart it in your life. And you have to be able to say God is able to do these wondrous, wondrous things. I know that God is able to do it. I know that he's able to change things. I know that there's no weapon for him against me that will prosper. I just sent a prayer request uh, to a friend or to a, a, someone donated some, some funds. And thank you again for donating and helping uh, keep this, this show going. And this is a new thing for us uh, going on live television uh, with you today. Um, but we're believing this is what God is sending us to do. Uh, we've been doing this online through radio and podcasting and, and live streaming. Um, but now we're investing into television, into your area, to be a blessing to you. Uh, there's different shows that we have, but almost every show you're going to listen to, you're going to hear faith, miracles, signs, wonders, healings, testimonies. Because that is our job, to get your faith excited. That is our job. But just before I came on the air, I was going through my, my emails, and someone donated a gift to us, and it was a blessing to see that. And immediately I sent them a response and said, thank you. Thank you so much. If you write me, I'll write you back. If you send a gift in, I'll, I still, I'll write you back. I try and write everybody back, whether it's through email or whether it's through um, a 
postcard or a simple letter. Um, I do my best to, to keep things moving. Now, I want to tell you, it takes me time to get back to you sometimes just because of the schedule that we have. But right now, it's kind of like I've been catching up. I told my wife the other day, I don't know why everyone's having such a problem staying home. I love it. <laughs> I haven't been home this long for a long time. I'm able to catch up things. I got this huge list of stuff I need to get done, and I'm just knocking it out. I'm so busy, but I work from home. I've always worked from home um, for, for quite some time. I've worked from home uh, professionally, and, and now I'm working to get home as minister and, and doing this and, and getting things running. But I want to encourage you. Hope is a powerful thing. Hope is an amazing thing. Don't ever let go of it, but always mix your faith Mix your faith with what people are teaching you, trying to get your get going. There's many ministers out there right now, streaming, broadcasting. Um, there's many books that you read. But if you read it, please, please mix your faith so they can produce something for you on your behalf. Every time I hold my healing services, when I pray, I pray right before I start. And I say, Lord, and you may have heard it on one of the sermons that, I pre that I've showed on the air already, that, Lord, let them mix it with faith that they receive something on their behalf, that it produces something that they need. Let them mix the words that I preach tonight with faith to get something. Take what we're teaching today, mix it with faith, mix it with faith. Let God do what God does. Let God change how God changes things, and let God just continually move in great and mighty ways. Hey, coming up next is, a, is our new segment. It's called Igniter of Faith Session. So you're going to go to the next, our next segment is going to be Igniter of Faith Session. I'm going to talk to you about a miracle or a healing or have a, have a great testimony to share with you or have a special guest. We'll see. God bless. We'll be right back. I want you to get my latest book, Igniter of Faith. I tell you what, it will challenge your faith. It'll make your faith soar when you hear the stories, the testimonies, but most of all, it'll fill you with the Word of God, which is required to get your miracle. If you're not in the Word of God, if you're not around people of believers that know that God does miracles even today, then your miracle may not come to you. But if you're around people that are excited about God, that know the Word of God and you're constantly having it in front of you, I guarantee you, you're so close to that miracle. Igniter of Faith will help ignite your faith to finally get the miracle that you've been looking for. I want to welcome you to Pure Fire School of Ministry, a place where you're going to be inspired in faith and a place where God is going to teach you something that you need to know from the Word of God. I've put together several, several ministers, evangelists, uh, pastors, prophets, and we put them together to teach a subject that they are strongly suited for to get it into your spirit and your soul. Um, you can take it online, and you can take it at your own pace. You can take one course, or you can take all the courses. It's completely up to you. And what my goal is, is to inspire your faith through the teachings of great women and men of God, and to make it accessible and affordable. If you go to our school, you'll see that it's affordable for anyone, whatever part of the world you live on, to be able to take it in. And I really believe that Pure Fire School of Ministry will challenge you and get you motivated to do something for God. Hi, and welcome back to the show. This is your host, David Yannis, and you're watching Ignite Your Day. Well, you're on the segment or the session called Ignite Your Faith, and we're hoping that we can ignite your faith just like I talk about in my book, about igniting the faith that's within you, letting God bring what you need, Anytime, anywhere you're at, God can move on your behalf. Today, I want to talk to you about a, a person that I met in Katy, Texas. She wasn't invited to this. She wasn't going to the services or churches. She wasn't a part of a church. She wasn't even saved. Get this. She wasn't even saved. But a friend at her, at, her, at her office that didn't work in the same office with her, but worked in the, worked in the office building, invited her to come out to the service. Now, she never knew that she was meeting these, this, this divine miracle that she got that diet. She comes to service, I'm preaching the gospel. As I'm preaching the gospel, get this, as I'm preaching the gospel, this woman, beautiful blue eyes, you'll see them in a minute, they, she just staring at me. And as she's just staring at me, I'm preaching the gospel. God is moving, I'm preaching in the anointing, God is moving. And as I'm preaching and preaching, get this, I call up for the prayer. It, was a, it wasn't a big audience, a small church, I, so I knew almost everyone that was coming up except for a few of the guests. She was one of the guests that came up. When she came up, I said, what do you need from the Lord? And she pulled up in front of me, and she showed me these fingers. As she showed me these fingers, she had 
crooked arthritic hands. In fact, her hands were even like crazy straws before this. These are them straight. They were like crazy straws. I didn't get a picture of that before. I got the picture afterwards. Had arthritis and in pain. And guess what God did? I got her hand. I made a fist. I didn't know that she could not close her hands. I did not know that it was painful for her to make a fist. I made a fist with her and I grabbed one of them. And as I grabbed one fist, I held it down. And I grabbed the other fist, I held it down. Then I held the fist in my hands like this. And I said, in Jesus' name, be made straight. In Jesus' name, be made straight. As I did that, God started to move on her behalf. And as you can see, her hands, she could never move her hands up and down like that. She could never do this right here. This entire part was crooked and like crazy straws, but God started to heal her. But it wasn't until the second time I prayed for her. And I felt the anointing pouring out of me onto these hands. But the second time I prayed for her, I said, hey, get this. I'm not going to pray for you a third time. We're just going to believe. You can give them the word. You can give them faith. But now it's for them to operate in believing that God would do it for them. Gets this. As I step back from her, I said, clap. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. And as she clapped her hands, I said, praise the Father. Praise the Father. As she clapped her hands, her hands began to be made straight, just like this picture here. God healed her of this arthritic condition. After this very moment of seeing God move, she said there was no more pain. She said she was able to move them. They weren't straight 100%. They weren't completely folding down like they should, but they started to. As you can see over here on this side and this side, she was going further and further down. That's as far as she can take them. But God was moving. God's able to do this. Arthritis, Jesus beat you. Arthritis, and everybody that's watching this right now, I command it to go right now in Jesus' name. I command it to leave and never return again, according to Nahum 1.9. It shall not return a second time. It's an amazing testimony. She gave her heart to Jesus. And I pray that this session, Ignite Her Faith session, ignites your faith. God bless you. We'll see you next time on Ignite Your Day. Thank you for listening to our broadcast and watching us here on Ignite Your Day. I want to encourage you to consider being a monthly partner for our ministry. Just visit our site, uh, decide what you want to give monthly to help us do what we do, and we're going to see great things happen in faith. Thanks again for watching our broadcast.